we're here for tonight. We hope the Spits can uh, make the playoffs, but men's 4 bay intermeter relay. I'll go through the teams here, and then Reese will uh, break down who we like. Saskatchewan Huskies, the Victoria Vikings, the Waterloo Warriors, the Windsor Lancers, the Sherbrooke Verrier, Manitoba Bisons, Toronto Varsity Blues, Guelph Griffins, the Laval Rouge AR, and the Dalhousie Tigers. Reese, who do you like here? We're gonna see a hell of a race here, hon. It's gonna be jammed up at the front, make no mistake about it. I see four teams duking it out, and I will give you those right now. University of Victoria, the Vikes, University of Windsor, I'm going to take University of Guelph and University of Manitoba. Those are going to be your four front runners, barring some kind of drop or fall. I think Windsor's got the edge, basically because of its horse in the fourth position in the anchor, which is Ryan McKenzie, whose head's and shoulders above the competition. Yeah. Yeah. No anchor is as good as McKenzie. No anchor is within four seconds of McKenzie. But can the rest of the horses keep the big dog ready to bring it home? Okay? That's the question for Windsor. They're running two freshmen. It's tough for freshmen to come in this race to run well. I like Victoria too, and I like Guelph. What I like about Victoria, fresh bodies. I know Reese is going to argue this against me. Windsor's got fresh bodies too. Windsor has the best anchor, but they got to be in a position for that, to use that anchor. What we got here, Victoria's strong, and Victoria's going out hard, and I like Guelph too. Guelph's leading off with Robin Bork, though I thought they would anchor Bork. So strategy come player, 27 in the first lap. They are out hard. They are out 54. That's, you know, sub 150 pace. They will not run that. But I think Victoria is trying to, trying to run away from the Lancers because they know if they're close to the Lancers when McKenzie gets a stick, it's all over. Even within, everybody else knows that. Even within five seconds, I believe, Ryan McKenzie would still gun him down. I believe we start off with one of the rookies with uh, Winter Lancers, Kevin Savard. That's Andrew Coates, Reese. Andrew Coates, okay, who's been added to the uh, event. He's in an excellent position right now, running in third. That is some great, great running right there. Hopefully he can keep us in the race for this. If, Co if the Lancers can give McKenzie 10 meters, he'll win. They give him 15 meters, the Lancers should win. 20, now we're talking. But Coates is running great. He didn't go out too hard. He put himself in position, and now he's moved up. I like this kid. When Dennis Crow was recruiting this kid last year, I thought he was a real deal. He's been up and down this season, but now he's coming on strong. And he's right there at Victoria. If they run the whole way like this, 124 through 600 meters, so they've slowed down a bit, but Coates is getting the job done. Who cares if you run 159 on the leadoff? Keep your team in a position. That's all that matters. Andy, this is a national championship. We don't give a hoots about the time. This yeah. is all about the win. This so is what everybody's here for. They round the corner here, and they're both in the double blue. So it's a little confusing. Victoria's leading, and here comes here comes Andrew Coates to the Lancers. In Guelph, a very good traditional yes. 4 bay 800-meter team. Still in the mix in third. Watch out for them. Yes. So Craig Babiuk is running for the Vikings. Kevin Savard, the rookie Reese alluded to earlier, is running second for the Lancers. He's out of the Ottawa area. Many great distance runners. And now Guelph is running. I think that's Steve Armitage. So we got three teams away from the rest. We got two close together. And Windsor's going for this. And they know they got the big dog to bring it home. Babiuk, a great 1,500-meter runner. Decent 1,000 meter. Let's see what happens here. The first lap, and they're through at 26 seconds. So it's fast, but it's close. And I can see Dennis Farrell, the head coach of the Lancers, and Brent McFogner, the head coach of the Vikings, right there. So the coaches want this as much as the athletes want yeah, this. Yeah, and it's hilarious. You know, I remember when Farrell just had a little patch of white hair, and the rest of the thing was brown. And everybody blamed me and another guy by the name of Mark Kiteley for making it all great. But I think it was more to do with races like this. Yes. And coaches are right in. So you can see the coaches standing, screaming. Babiak has put some distance on Savard. 53 seconds through 400 meters. Well, and we expected very this. Fast. We, we expect, very fast. Very fast. We expected Reese. this gap. I mean, he's going up against the rookie in Savard. Savard's yeah. got to stay close. Let's see that mental toughness from that rookie. Like we said, Uvic wants to run away from the Lancers early because they can't do it on the last leg. But the Lancers are hanging tough and hats off these freshmen. They are not backing down. Guelph is rounding the corner. They're in third, and we have a whole... It's just a mess running for fourth, but Victoria trying to lead it. 122, 124. Very good 600 meter splits, and this is where the race could be won or lost here. If Windsor keeps it close, Victoria is done, and look at Kevin Oh, Savard. there you go. Hey, that rookie's going to have a great uh, you gotta career. you got to love Savard here coming around the corner. He's going to close this, even if he keeps his distance out of what it is right now, Reese. Trevor Pye is up next to the Lancers, and he is running great this year. Yeah, they've taken Brandon Young out of it and put Andrew Coates in it for the University of Windsor yes. Lancers. Trevor Pye, as you like saying, wow. Andy Hahn, fresh body, fresh body. We just saw 154 legs there, so a great leg in the middle of the race. I, we don't want to get too concerned about the splits, but nonetheless, excellent. 
Victoria extended the lead a bit there in the last 50 meters because Savard was tightening up. Reese talked about it with the sprinters. It happens with the middle distance runners. They tighten up and they slow down. This runner from Victoria is out very quick. Pai has got to keep the Lancers close if they want a chance to win this. Pai is falling off the pace a little 24 bit. 24 seconds Reese through 200 meters and the Victoria runner almost ran into one of the other runners and he had to run out of lane. Yeah. That might affect the race outcome. Yeah, but 24 seconds, he's going out too quickly. Trevor's staying within himself. Expect that gap to close and it's only two seconds right now, Han. I don't know. This guy has run 151 this year for Victoria. We are looking at Victoria. Scott Kennedy, 151 out of the blocks. He is accomplished. He is good. So it's going to be interesting to see what happens here. Yeah, you're up to about a two and a half second gap now. So the it's gap getting is big. Winning. It's getting yep. big. I'm sorry, this is Glenn Sackey running now, and the Vikings will anchor Kennedy. They have legit guys, so the Lancers got to keep it close. If they can't keep it close, McKenzie is going to have to really run fast, and even then, it might be difficult. Yeah, and Elf is running very strong in third. Then around the corner here, we got Victoria in the dark, in the all blue, the Lancers in the blue with the yellow down the side. This is going to be a battle of wills right here, Hunter. You got yes. two guys who want some more. Who wants yes. this more? Yes. It's, it's Victoria, it's Windsor, and Tre it's Guelph. Trevor Pye has done a fantastic job with a lap to go on his leg, Honor. He's got to close it up. But he's, he's only two and a half seconds behind. Yes. I'm sorry, that yes. is enough for Ryan McKenzie to win this for the Windsor Lancers and end yes. this day with a lot of momentum going into tomorrow. You know what, Reese? If, if Pye keeps like this, I like Windsor to win. We got Kennedy anchoring for the Vikings, and we got McKenzie anchoring. He is the best anchor by far. Trevor Pye is actually getting closer. He's only two seconds behind now, and it's closing. It's closing. Great leg. Yeah, less than two seconds between the two. Barring a disaster, this should be we Windsor's race. We saw more one, two more 154 legs. We're going to see a very good 4 8 time here. McKenzie, though, he has a great kick. Let's see what he can do. Very smooth and relaxed. And that's Scott Kennedy. He is legit, guys. He is a great 800 meter runner here. They'll be laughing down as he looks here. Or laughing, sorry, Laval. So Victoria's leading. That is a lap team. And now here comes Windsor. Can Windsor make it up? Whoa, Victoria! Waterloo! Someone's got to do something about these Waterloo guys. That's twice they bumped into Victoria guys in the track. If I was Victoria head coach, I'd be ripping those Waterloo guys to, to shreds. Yeah, if I was like, still, what's going on? There? That's still, twice. If I was still racing on, I'd be choking those little little bums down there. That's total disrespect like, for their fellow athletes. Total that's twice disrespect. Victoria's had to deal with that. Mackenzie is closing it up here. You know Kennedy is running scared. Look at there's some cops. I'm going here. David Gill from Lavelle. He's a lap down. Is he going to help out Kennedy to get away from Windsor? Yeah, this I don't actually, know. This actually works in uh, in the favor of the anchor. This is what racing's all about. Who would have thought a guy about to get lapped didn't want to get lapped? You see Mackenzie closing race. up, and I guarantee you, at the bell, Mackenzie will open it up it, here. It, I think. It's still all over, Han. Mackenzie's well within his comfort zone. He's going to blow yeah. the doors off this guy any second now. Yeah. And here they come. And Mackenzie has taken the lead. And there they go. Not extraordinary fast, but they're getting the job done, and that's what matters with the national championship. Yeah, this gap is going to do nothing but widen now. This race is done. McKenzie will run away here. He's already looking back. He knows he's got the comfort. Kennedy will bring Victoria to second, and Guelph will get third. McKenzie through the final corner here. This is his last time running the four bay for Windsor. A very big win here for the Lancers. And kudos to the rest of the Windsor Lancer crew. Those young guys really pulled through for the whole for the whole city right there. Yeah. And gave Ryan McKenzie. It's basically like giving a guy in volleyball a nice big open smash over the net. That was that was